Well, the president is coming to Belvedere, Illinois, to speak with auto workers that will be regaining their jobs as a result of the deal that the UAW has now worked out with Stellantis. You'll see thousands of auto workers rehired in Illinois, about 2,500 to build mid-size SUVs and another 1,300 to build electric batteries. You know, the president personally advocated with the CEO of Stellantis to reopen this plan. He also became the first president in history to go to an active strike site and stand with UAW President Sean Fain and the workers to make sure they get the wages and benefits that they deserve. What's his relationship with Sean Fain like? Well, you know, the president uh, has uh, has spoken to him uh, several times, uh, met with him, sat down with him, tried to understand uh, everything that uh, Mr. Fain and the auto workers wanted out of this negotiation. Uh, you know, car companies have been doing very well these past few years. They've made record profits. Um, and the president wanted to make sure that the workers who were building these vehicles and building the cars of the future, electric vehicles, um, were getting the wages and benefits that they deserved. And so uh, Sean Fain was was helpful uh, in uh, in educating the president about all the workers' needs and, and requests. And they've now achieved a very good outcome here. They've got a record contract. Um, workers are going to see an increase in wages and benefits over the next four and a half years that they haven't seen in decades. And it's very meaningful to, to auto workers in Illinois because thousands of workers that have been out of work as a result of the Stellantis plant closing will now be uh, rehired as it gets back off the ground. 